Yo, what's going on guys? Darmot here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own keyless Roblox executor for PC. So first off, you're going to want to download Visual Studio 2022 if you don't have it already. So go ahead and create a new project. You want to use a um, Windows Form app because like that's the most like simple if you want like an in-depth tutorial on like how to make like tab systems and everything like that please let me know but um i know this video will probably do shit but like you know it is what it is what do we want the execute to be called like i don't know like sigma balls executor this framework just leave it as it is click on create and then just wait for it to load so just make it like whatever size you want and go to your toolbox like this so um, what you want to do is drag two buttons, so one button and another button. And then you also want to drag in a rich text box. So just type in rich and you'll get the text box. So just like make it like as big as like the executor. Because you know, this is the most amazing UI ever. So we've got our text box, we've got our buttons. So we want to customize what these buttons are called. So go to properties. And this one, we're going to call it execute. And this one, find the text and call it inject. All right, cool. So we've got our shit done already. So just double click on the buttons like this, just to like get the code of them. And what you want to do is find the solution explorer, click on dependencies, right click actually, and then click project reference, then click browse. You want to find the DLL file that you can download from the link in the description. This is very important or else it won't fucking work. So just click on add like this and then just click OK. All right. So now at the very top of your executor, you want to um, type using CC API and then a semicolon like this. Make sure to actually like put this. So go back, double click your inject button. So here for the inject, type in string and then just type in like inject path and then you want to um, path.combine and you want to find the um, application startup path. All right. So here, now what you want to do is colon, fucking comma, what the fuck? You'll find the API folder and then celery inject.exe. So this will basically tell your program like this is where to find the injector and then you want to type in ccapi.exploitapi.inject and then type in inject path and then a comma and then true and then false. So the first true is like if you want the console to show up so you like know that your executor is like injected. False is run as admin. Obviously you don't need admin permissions for like an executor but like if it doesn't work maybe try it with both true. There we go. That um, finds it and that injects it into Roblox. We got it sorted. So now you want to actually execute scripts because otherwise what the fuck is the point of having a text box that doesn't execute scripts. All right. So ccapi.exploitapi like before but this time execute all right so inside like these brackets here you want to type in rich text box one dot text and that is all you've made your own executor wow very nice that's all so just go to the top here and then click build solution like so and then it'll give you like a folder that it'll save your executor in it'll be like this here c slash users your username whatever the fuck so just copy that path and then go into your like file browser and then paste it in so this will be where your execute is saved so just click on the folder that your execute is called click on bin debug whatever the fuck and that's your executor but we're not quite done yet there needs to be like one more file that you need to paste in um, to your executor i'm gonna find it real quick actually i was stupid it was like hiding behind my fucking desktop this entire time so just like drag this to your executor and then you're done all right so you can just open up your executor by clicking on the app and there we go you've got the most amazing looking executor ever but does it fucking work let's see so just click on inject it's fucking frozen first of all oh no we fucked it oh there we go it finally did it maybe don't spam the inject button 
is um right there we go look it says ready like so oh yeah if you want to like change like what it says in the console i have like some code for you but um obviously stick around to the end we're going to check if it actually works first so um let's do print and then just do like hello motherfucker like this and then let's see it does in fact work so we're going to do print identity just to show you that it does in fact work and it's a level 8 executor we're going to do the unc test so let's paste in the unc test and all right so the unc test is done it's got a 72 percent success rate which is actually better than solara because this is basically just like celery executor but like you can make your own like ui like of it but um it's it's all right it doesn't support like everything it's okay like it's free and it's keyless so like you can't really complain to be fair all right so that's all for today's video but one more thing if you want like to change this where like when you inject the executor it'll tell you like your executor name is like injected um you can paste this code in like underneath where it says form one just paste this code right here and anything you put underneath this line um it'll show up so like I've just got it say like hello from dark modes fuck yeah and then here where it says like public form one you want to type in console lol or whatever the fuck you like you called the function which is this right okay so we've got it now so now let's rejoin roblox right okay so we've got it let's just click inject and i'll show you well there we go now it says hello from dark modes fuck yeah all right so that's all for today's video if you liked it make sure to leave a like if you didn't like it just grow the fuck up and subscribe if you're new and peace